companion to the Spanish Voyages, it's called A New Account of the East Indies by Alexander Hamilton in the Argonaut Press, again with these glorious leather, gold-blocked, beautifully bound. It's going to be just £12 through bibliophilebooks.com for this now rare 1970 publication by Nico Israel of Amsterdam. It's a facsimile of the 1930 Argonaut Press original. It's now edited with a new introduction, well not new, <laughs> uh, a 1970 introduction by Sir William Foster. The two volumes are bound together here. The importance of Alexander Hamilton's account of his experiences in the East 1688 to 1723 was written after his great voyages through Europe to Barbary and to Jamaica before finally going in 1688 to the East Indies in his early 20s. That's a facsimile of the first volume. After his return from China, Hamilton in 19, uh, 1694 took his first independent venture and called in at Malacca in 96 and the following year at Johor with a suitable cargo. Here's a map of the sea coasts from the Cape of Good Hope in a lovely gatefold. He's found the survivors of the Scottish East India Company's vessel Speedwell which like the Harwich had been wrecked after careening. Hamilton who was on his way back to Surat took the sailors on board on his own ships. His venture to Java had not been a great success and his references to the Dutch monopoly are tinged with bitterness. In 1705 we learn that he's buying and selling goods and con con sustained considerable losses when two ships belonging to pr private merchants were, were burned. We follow him to the Red Sea, to Siam, the Persian Gulf and read about him in the minutes of the directors of the East India Company. There's four gatefold full pages, maps and woodcut illustrations, 226 pages in this rare find, as I say. And it's only £12 through bibliophilebooks.com. map of China and Japan. People don't spend this much money producing books like this anymore. Really very, very rare. So bag your copy while you can from Bibliophile Books for just £12.